Welcome back to Let's Roger That, everybody. This is a special home edition. <laughs> Actually, what I wanted to tell you about today is how to make uh, a spur gear for your uh, South Bend 13, 14 and a half, or 16 with one tumbler. So that's, that's the old version. Mine is from 1944. That's a spur gear for transposing to metric treads. Take that. So uh, what you would end up with is this, right? Um, and uh, depending on the material you use with your 3D printer, and of course that's up to you, um, uh, you'll end up with a gear. And it's, of course, super cheap for you to make at home if you have a 3D printer. So uh, let me take you into Fusion 360. That's what I use to generate the gear. And uh, I'm going to show you how I figured out how to make this gear. I'm going to make as simple as possible. I am not an expert, so please don't ask me a whole lot of questions about three, Fusion 360 because I can't help you. Uh, but I'll show you exactly what I did in order to create this gear. Now, this gear is actually the, the real size stub gear, which is a uh, diametral pitch of 14. Um, the uh, um, ang pressure angle of 14 and a half and with 34 teeth. Uh, the whole size, is, it, it just comes out exactly the way you need to have it. All right, so let's go on the computer and I'm gonna show you how I did it. All right, so the first thing to do, and by the way, Fusion 360 is a pretty difficult program to learn, you know, unless you follow some little videos and just to do something very specific. But in this case, we're gonna do make a gear. So let's keep it simple. See my mouse here, you go to utilities, click on that. And then when you go left, you see here add-ins. Click on add-ins and click on that. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to scroll down and add spur gears okay so that's a script you click run and what it did here is that it opened a box for you to put your parameters into so in our case we're going to pick uh, we're going to stay with standard which is english imperial the pressure angle is 14 and a half degrees see there's not that many here so ours is 14 and a half. We know that. The diametral pitch is 14 for the South Bend 13, right? We know that. And the number of teeth is 34. That's for the stub gear. Now, let's not put any backlash in there. Let's keep it nice and easy. Fill it. Okay, so that's a little radius at the bottom of the, the gear tooth. We'll put that at um, zero, 0,1, okay, 10 thousandths of an inch. The gear thickness is 5 eighths of an inch, so that's 0.625. And the hole diameter, again, 0 0.625 is the same thing. So once you got that, that's, that's it. Like that's, so you click OK. All right, so it's going to slap a gear in the middle of the screen like it has. Now just so we uh, see I'm just scrolling away my mouse and it's popping out the different aspects of or characteristics of this thing. So the next thing we need to do here, we're going to go scroll down. You see this little orbit thing? Click on that. And when you drag it down, it'll just give you a different perspective, right? Another way to do that is you scroll to the right. Here's that that's the box. You can click on top and it squares everything up. Okay, so now we'll go back down and click the little hand that's called pen. And what we want to do from here is get uh, make a new sketch so that in the middle here we can put an actual keyway of the appropriate size, which is 190 thousandths in width and 120 thousandths in depth. So that's the next thing. Okay, so this next part, not quite as intuitive for me. So what we're going to do here is just take your mouse, and if you scroll down, come on, 
scroll down, you'll actually zoom in. All right. So the next thing we want to do is uh, go back up there, click the top thing. That'll show you the top of the, it'll re realign everything. Now, the next part we have to do is to create a sketch. See this little icon up here? So you click on that. And now it's, you're ready to make a new sketch. And what we're going to do is create a keyway. So we want to double click on the wheel. Okay, so we've now opened this new uh, menu. So we're going to click on this little rectangle up here, right? So that is called a sketch palette. And uh, what we want to do is go to the center of our gear and create a little rectangle. And then we'll extrude that afterwards. So I just click down on my mouse, dragged, okay, and that says specify angle, uh, size of a rectangle. Okay, great. So now the width is the one that's highlighted. It's on 195, so I'll leave it there just to get started. And then the other one is the depth. And that's, we want 120, so that's 120 thousandths, that is. So we'll click uh, type 0.12 and then press enter. All right, now that's done. We can say finish sketch. So we scroll to this palette menu here, finish the sketch, great. Once we've done that, you see the menu at the top has changed again. We want to click this, the little rectangle we just made, and then we're gonna go up there at the menu and click extrude right below the word mesh. Okay, so once we do that, what's happening is it, it wants to know the distance that we're going to extrude. So just so that we see it a little better, let's go down and pick that orbit um, thing again. We'll do this, just so that we see what we're doing. And then we'll select the hand again, all right? So now, we'll go back to this thing here, and, and see the arrow points up, right? So if we go positive, it's going to go up. So we want to go negative, because we want to go right down through the gear. So we're, we're extruding material to create the keyway. So we'll type minus point six two five and you see right away it extruded all the material to create the keyway so we'll click enter done that's it now let's go back down here and click that orbit again so that we can pivot this thing around and have a look at it all right so you see we've got perfectly sized keyway that's how you do it now let's proceed to the next part which is actually to save this thing and export it out as an STL file for your 3D printer. Okay, so now we want to save this thing, right? Because it says right here, it's unsaved. So let's go to file, actually, uh, we just choose this here, the save button, and give this a name, okay? So we'll call this uh, DP14, um, and we'll, We'll put like recording just because I've got several other ones in there. And that'll be saving. All right, so I'll just, that's what I'll pick for now. Now I wanna put this, this is all gonna go in here. As you can tell, I have lots of new ones. So I'm just gonna put in a new folder. Uh, actually, let's forget about that. Okay, so we'll just save it, great. Now it's saved. Great. You can see up here, recording saving version zero. Lovely. Then what you want to do is export it as an STL file, which is what your 3D printer is going to require in order to print your prototype. So there you go. This is where you choose it. The export uh, menu opens up. And then it, this not usually what it chooses. It will show you all of these different types of files and click SDL. Okay, great. And here's choosing the location to save, and that's my desktop. So click export. This window opens, as you can tell I've done it before.
and there's a status of the saving, right? So once it's done, it'll show complete just like the other one, and it'll give you the option to actually go and find it. So once that, we'll just let it complete its thing. See, it doesn't take very long. It's going to take less than a minute, I'm sure. There's some online um, process that occurs uh, with this software, by the way. So that may take a little more time, depending on your connection. Okay, so it's done. And that's all there is to that. So I can close this. And now, for all of you that have a South Bend 13, 14 and a half, or 16 with a single uh, tumbler on your quick change gearbox, you basically have yourself a, uh, a stub gear uh, so that you can print metric or you can uh, turn metric threads. Uh, so I hope uh, this was useful to you. Uh, I am definitely not an expert in any of this software. I muddled my way through until I figured it out. But uh, as you can see, it's possible to make your own and you don't have to be a computer expert or, or a Fusion 360 expert or any of that stuff, right? So you can actually generate a gear and it's not all that complicated. So. I hope uh, this is useful to you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I always look forward to hearing from you. Uh, so take care. Bye-bye.